Official Wondering Weekends Campground Review for Jack Hill State Park near Reedsville, Georgia. Welcome back, friends. Holy cow, it's been a long time since we have done a campground review. Last year, we kind of revisited some of our old favorites, so we didn't have a whole lot of new campgrounds to do. We just went to some campgrounds that scored really well the first time we went. So if you haven't joined us before, we actually break our campground reviews down into six different categories, and those categories are accessibility, scenery, cost, comforts, atmosphere, and kid-friendly. I've kind of explained those as we go along. Those get scored 1 to 10, 1 being the worst, 10 being the best. There's no such thing as a perfect campground. You'll see that as we go along. But a 50 is a really good score. Let's see how Jack Hill State Park near Reedsville, Georgia stacks up. All right, we always start with accessibility because you have to get there first. This measures how easy is it to get to the campground. Do you have to cross mountains? Do blah, blah, blah. You don't understand what I'm saying. So there's no big tricks here. It's in uh, kind of in South Georgia, so everything's kind of flat. No big mountains to deal with. Uh, it is a good ways off of any major interstate, so you're at least 20 miles from I-16, I believe. I-95 is well east of you. And yeah, so it doesn't score a perfect score here, but no big tricks. It scores an 8. Next up is scenery, and obviously this one's very subjective. But if you watch enough of our campground reviews, you'll kind of get an idea of how we score this one. So Jack Hill State Park sits in South Georgia Pines, and they're pretty, but they're nothing spectacular. Uh, you are in the woods. I did enjoy being there. We had some nice privacy on our site, which was Site 15. And the nice palms when you walk around, the little fan palms, ground palms, when you walk on some of the nature trails, that added to the scenery score for sure. You've also got some Spanish moss. Uh, it, it's nice down there. It, it really is. So no crazy sunsets, no spectacular water views, but it still scores pretty good here, a 7. Next up is cost, and we may have to adjust this one soon because costs are going up on campgrounds. Uh, but costs at all of our Georgia State Parks, $32 to $35 a night, gets you water and electricity, and that scores at a 5. Next up is comforts, and even though we're walking by the comfort station there in the video, comforts actually scores what's around the state park. Is it easy to get to a Walmart, a Home Depot? Is there an RV-specific parts store maybe you could use if you had an issue? And Reedsville, Georgia is a small town, okay? That's putting it lightly. It's a cute town. It has a couple of nice uh, little shopping areas, a couple of nice stores, but not much going on down there. You can drive one way, 20 miles one way or 20 miles the other and get to some bigger towns with some more shopping and more restaurants. Uh, but comfort score, it's middle of the road. It scores a five. Second to last category is atmosphere, and this scores how was it in the campground? Any crazy parties? Was everyone nice? And everyone was great. The, the front office staff was nice. We didn't have any issues whatsoever. It's quiet at night. Uh, atmosphere was great. It scored a 10. Last but certainly not least, our very favorite category, the whole reason we do this whole camping thing, and that is kid-friendly. Uh, Jack Hill State Park was pretty darn kid-friendly. It wasn't perfect because the camp, the playground was off of the campground, so it was up near the front office. It wasn't actually in the campground, so that had hurt the score a little bit. But our particular site had plenty of woods to play around. There's a nature trail right on our site, so that was nice for them to run up and down. We give the kids walkie-talkies, and they kind of have a little bit of freedom. You can pretty much see most of the campground from our site, so we let them have that freedom with those walkie-talkies. And it was nice. I think they really enjoyed it. Kid Friendly scored an 8. On to the bonus round. And this is something we do for campgrounds that do things, you know, one particular, one or two things particularly well that the campground review may not pick up. And no bonus points for Jack Hill State Park. Unless you like golf, then you can add a bonus point here for that. We do like golf, but we're not going to add it here because most, most campers, I don't know about most, but a lot of campers don't care about the golf course. But if you do like it, it would certainly score a bonus point here. On to the best site slide, and this is the one a lot of people wait on. Uh, our site 15 was really good, but I would, it had a lot tons of privacy. It was, it was great for that. But I would say the best sites in the whole campground were 22, 23, and 24, right there on the water, kind of where we're at, kind of to the right of where we're at in the video right now. But, yeah, I was looking over that lake. It was nice. Yeah, 22, 23, and 24 if you can get them. All right, friends, add it all up, and Jack Hill State Park 
near Reedsville, Georgia, scores a 44. A 44 is a very respectable score. I think anything over a 40, we're willing to go back. And I can certainly say this about Jack Hill State Park. Now, before I go, I want to make sure this is formerly Gordon Altamaha State Park. So if you're looking for that in the future, if you're looking for the Gordon Altamaha Review, they renamed it to Jack Hill State Park. So I meant to mention that in the beginning of the review, and I did not. But yeah, we would definitely go back to Jack Hill. You can see the pretty lake right here. Yeah, it, it, it was very nice. So we can put, certainly put it on the recommend list. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider sharing it. And as always, consider subscribing. See ya.